Welcome back to Mike Tyson Mysteries. Yo, that show was what funny. I've never it's actually a, a seen it. It's a TV show. It was all right. I saw a couple hmm. episodes. It's pretty funny. It, Mike Tyson like, it's like, and it's Mystery like, Machine. It's, it's like, a, it's like a parody. I know it's like a parody of Scooby Doo, but with Mike Tyson. Yeah. I like how there's a gonk droid there. I mean, I, like, it's an adult <laughs> swim show, so it can't be. Okay, no, it could be terrible, actually. <laughs> It's, that's the say, thing, that's yeah. the thing. Adult Swim shows are typically either really good or really bad, and there's no in-between. This, this is why I'm glad Smiling Friends is as good as it was. Yeah. But that's more so to do with how Zack, you know, Zack's efforts, I suppose. Mm. Not so much Adult Swims, because they dropped the ball with Hellbenders. So, you know, glad they gave him a second chance. Chance number two, Chancer. Chancer. Anyway, now that Chance Fantoon is defeated, the, uh, now that Fantoon has been defeated, uh, the, uh, the, uh, um, the ship wrecked is ship is now back online, and you can actually explore it more freely now. Get things like these super missiles over here. Won't touch the sparks, they'll hurt. They Not do like hurt. They are very painful sparks. Reminds me of that old uh, Electric Company ad with Larry the Lightbulb, and he's like doing the show tune about I don't, we're not say touching Larry the... the lobster for a second. <laughs> no. oh, about touching, about uh, about like dancing, and he's like on a stage, he's talking about like not touching a downed power line. <laughs> that's a very like specific memory, but it's like such an organ thing. I feel like it's a very Ooh, important weird. thing to remember for one's safety. Never touch that downed power line, bum. Yeah, man. I saw this video once, this guy um, accidentally getting electrocuted by touching this, I don't know, I think it was like a garage door or something that, you know, one of the fuses might have, something might have happened and maybe touched an exposed wire and he was like paralyzed because as you're getting electrocuted, you can't always really move since your muscle yeah. is, you know, your muscles are controlled by electricity and so it paralyzes your muscles. And yeah. somebody walked by, recognized what was going on and took this guy and just flung him off oh. of the garage door. And That's how it's gotta be sometimes, life. dog. Yeah, yeah, like, you can't really, in situations of emergency, like, being, like, gentle really doesn't really, I mean, I suppose, you know, if, like, someone's yeah. having a seizure, obviously, you don't want them to hit their head, so, like, you hold them up as best as you can, but, like, yeah. in situations like that, where there's, like, direct bodily contact with something, then, like, you kind of just gotta fucking, you know, like, you'll see all the times in, like, you know, like, I don't know, I guess, like, the, the, the dumb, like, you know, anime trope, I suppose, is like, you know, someone or like your friend or whatever is like about to get hit by a super beam, so you just fucking punch him out of the way. <laughs> like, there is there is merit to that in the sense that, like, again, in situations of emergency, it's like, you don't care how it's gotta happen. You yeah. just gotta, gotta, you know, make them, make them not die. Maybe. Yeah. But, like, you had to be really careful, too, because I imagine if you if you touch to someone who's getting electrocuted, you could have some of the electricity come onto you. So I don't remember whether he did something to shield himself or what happened. Yeah, he oftentimes... Of, he kind of just sorry, body, maybe kind of just body slammed the guy. I don't know. It's been a while since I've seen it. Yeah, I mean, if he shoulder checked him, I feel like there wouldn't be long enough contact where it would be like, oh, fug. Yeah. Oh, fug. Oh, fug. But, I mean, you know, uh, you know, when often, like you were saying, when your muscles spasm, that's oftentimes why, like people die when they're electrocuted is because like they can't let go of what's electrocuting them so they just basically unintentionally get fried yeah yeah, yeah That's why electricians yeah. always wear fun fact electricians always wear rubber gloves and a second layer of uh thin nitrile gloves underneath see here's uh. the thing here's the thing i didn't know that but i kind of already believed it yeah well like it makes sense when you think about it especially yeah. Because nitrile is a, uh, is a, has rubber composite inside of it, so. But not strong enough to completely deter electricity. So if, like, you only were, like, handling electricity with nitrile gloves, you'd still probably get fucked, but it wouldn't be as bad. But it's a good, like, oh. second. It's a good backup. I found the video. He takes off, like, his scarf or something and wraps it around the guy's neck and pulls him off the door. Here, I can, I can. That's it smart. For you guys. Yeah. Because he, he touches smart. him and then flinches and that tells me that he got some of the electrocution and even then like that's probably because cloth doesn't isn't really like a great convector of electricity no or conductor it's not. rather conductor yeah, it's so not. oh you want to see me that's do pretty smart here it's not like he tried using a squirt gun and then you know <laughs> i mean, I mean this, isn't, this isn't like a sick play it's just a, a cool lore thingy I do like the lore. I do like the lore. Look, it's of this an empty place. standing Chozo statue. You just get oh! in it and look what it does. It Rips can you. present you as a present to someone, and then it'll eat you. He, he huh. wakes up. He's like, 
I'm hungry. Be grip. Oh, thanks for the help. Destroy yeah. those spikes. Me grip. Not only does That's he destroy the I... spikes, he also uh, takes you downstairs. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if like he, he just like goes on a taxi win and reads you a bedtime story? What if he like goes on a breakaway and just fucking dunks you in a nearby basket? <laughs> no, no, no. no. You're, so you're, a, you're a you're a basketball, so he dunks you in the hoop. That's what I mean. In, like a nearby basket, you know, basketball hoop, I suppose. Um, <laughs> it's like it's like I remember. I don't know, that just kind of reminds me of that one video that I cannot find again for the life of me. Oh, hey, an important power. The gravity suit. Let's go. Look at how pretty this thing is. Yeah, okay, okay, oh. ready. She's purple, purple now. Yep. Oh. Me too. Just now. a second, the dogs are barking. I'm going to mute. Okay. But yes, the cool gravity suit. Anyway, water. like it, uh, it reminds me of uh, that one video that I can't find for the life of me. That was like uh, something about Smash Bros. DLC, and it's like doing the Avatar opening, and it's like showing like the first four DLC characters, like where it would be like water, air, or, you know that. Oh, okay. Yeah. But then when it gets to Hero, you just like it shows like his face pasted over a basketball player. He does a slam dunk, and like the other heroes are cheering. <laughs> Back and pet That's sitting, so... the dogs went crazy for no reason. That sounds funny. Yeah. Um, um, what the dog doing? Anyway, anyway. Um, gravity suit. Uh, yeah, the gravity suit yeah. allow gives Samus free movement underwater, so like she can now jump high enough. Uh, she can actually move without being painfully slow, and it also protects her from acid, but not yep. lava. <laughs> okay. This is the acid suit you were talking about. Yes. In in later games, or more specifically Metroid Dread, it also protect, protects her from extreme cold. Oh. Er, I'm cold. I must put on new armor. I wonder what is this insulation. Hopefully not asbestos. It's kind of weird, because in the next game, Metroid Fusion, the Varia suit protects her from both hot and cold, but in Dread, it's just hot, and you need the gravity suit to protect yourself from cold. Yeah. Mm. Maybe they wanted, like, the player to, like, choose again, instead of just having, like, an overall, like, answer to both, like, two problems. Well, I mean, oh. sem well, the, the, the gravity suit stacks over the Varia suit, so it's not mm. really a choice thing. It's a matter of getting the upgrade for that one later. That weird fish just died. Yeah. It's why is there a weird why is there like a weird fish in this ship you know it's just fish like actually people. true i don't know how we don't know how long the ship has been abandoned for so maybe i don't like, know how long the ship is it's kind of plunged straight into the actual like natural water area of planet zebus so well, there you go that like there's your it answer. kind of makes sense that there'd be fishy fishies over there dude literally when there's fish yo I mean, fish just kind of swim to places. Oh. Dog Dude. needs to go outside. Let's go outside, dog. I'm not going to go outside with the dog. Okay. Oh. Go. Oh, are you letting him outside? I'm letting him outside. Intelligence 1 million. <laughs> Carrie, is it at the same place that I picked you up at? Yeah, the one with the You beagles. know, I was kind of guessing oh. that. I'm cutting out oh. a town name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It could be. I'm True. in Los Angeles right now. <laughs> And also, you made me now a joke, too. It was a really funny joke. Yeah. I'm so hilarious. It was the best joke I have ever made. It was so funny, Evan had to cut it out because you would you would have died if you heard it. The the, everybody Evan's else died. I had, to, right I, had, I had to raise Evan and, Evan and uh, Gabe from the dead because yeah. they heard it. This is actually a, a jump cut to when Carrie post, ne uh, post necromancies us. Yeah, <laughs> I had to. I had to harness some Jesus powers. Yep, she made us come back on the first day as opposed to the third day. Uh huh. Contrary to popular belief, Jesus actually came back on day one and was like, "Wait, wait, not yet, not yet, not yet." <laughs> he was. He needed to yeah, rest. He came back on the third day so that he could stop the moon from falling. Yep. Uh -huh. Ba bum ba bum ba bum. Oh, now uh -oh. the other dog is attacking the one dog, but for fun, so they're not going to hurt each other. I believe the term you're looking for is playing. <laughs> it's uh, play attacking. Play attacking. You know, when they do that, they go and they go... Yeah. And then they go. Yeah. That's why I was, like, playing, like, tug of war with dogs, is because they get, like, and, like, and growl back at them. Because they know I'm just, I'm just having fun. I'm a, I'm a, yeah. I'm a tug of war guy. You're I'm a fun guy. You're just fooling around, is all. It's it's not... just fooling around. 
Oh, now they're eating grass. Oh, oh, now they're eating the ferns. Oh, That's well. good for their digestive. Yeah, it is. Good for their stummies. Stummies. <laughs> Sage eats grass sometimes. Yeah, yeah, cats do that too. Well, I, I'm about I'm later this month or next month in April. I'm gonna pet sit for a place that has a cat. Yay! And they have this grass that they set out for it next to its food, and it just eats the grass. It's oh, like shit. a little, a little oh, yeah, square, a little, of grass. a little bot. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, yeah, uh, to talk about the game for a bit, we are in a new location. This is Meridia. It's com like it's basically the water area. Yep. Meridia. Meridians. So if you didn't get the fucking gravity suit, you best get your ass back. Well, you can't it. even enter this area without the gravity. That's not true. That's not true. You can, really? and it's through a means that, like, I deliberately avoided doing because uh, there was no reason to do it before I got the gravity suit. Oh, shit, it's the floppy pancake, guys. Yeah, it is the floppy pancake, guys. That's the boys right there. Love these guys, the little flapjacks. There they are. Yes, sir. They're like octopod, like like cephalopod underneath. Under Are female sides. flapjacks called flapjills. <laughs> <laughs> this is the kind of humor we have on Smash Team games. <laughs> Top tier. Now that's the funniest joke. <laughs> <laughs> flapjills. <laughs> How can you tell the difference? Um. Uh. They're not Those... a very sexually dimorphic species, so it's kind of <laughs> hard to tell. <laughs> what if it's like the bigger pancakes you make are like, just like sexual dimorphic animals are like bigger, while the smaller ones are flat tails? <laughs> oh man, that's really funny. <laughs> flat tails, I can't believe it. That's. <laughs> Gabe. My life will be made better if you share that joke with someone next time you're making I, pancakes. Uh, I, uh, I'm, I'm stealing that joke. Please I, do. We'll, we'll, we'll I am too, I am too. We'll, I will distribute that joke around the world. Uh, it will become the next meme. It will see it on the internet next week and everybody will be talking about it. <laughs> Motherfuckers be like, I'm all flapjacks. Bitch, I'm all flapjacks. <laughs> yeah. Just show small pancakes. You know, I feel, I feel like, I feel like Will would have appreciated that joke too. Why not just text him it? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point, that's a good point, but it would have been funnier if you were here for the commentary. That's, that's true, yeah. We probably would have said it before I did, because his humor, he's quicker than I am to the draw on a lot of jokes. What the fuck are those? Are those crustaceans? He did message me the other day, and he said, how does this person know you? And he took a screenshot from a Discord conversation he had, and it says, have you tried asking the not suspicious girl in your church who tells you to drink water and use hype emojis? <laughs> <laughs> Dear, that actually just described you. <laughs> What's a hype emoji? I don't know. Uh, the, you do use the, emojis, the, so the one the hype emoji is the one hundred one. The one the oh, hundred is like super I underlined. On occasion, use that one. Whoa! He's getting dropped into the bottle. Okay, I'm out. <laughs> oh look. Teeth. Teeth. Are there any meat to go with it? No, there's just teeth here. Just teeth? <laughs> not yet. There might be some meat. <laughs> when, you're, when you're a baby and only your teeth have come in, but not your meat. <laughs> Dude, that's gotta be like one of the funniest, like <laughs> single funniest, like wordplay things I've ever heard. Is fucking meat. Is it better than slap Jill? <laughs> well, see, that's the thing. Is like, I think it just died at like. <laughs> Meath, just because it's like such a non sequitur. It's, it's so. Funny. It's a very it's goofy it, sounding word. It is. But yeah. It makes sense in terms, you know, the linguistic pattern of <laughs> yeah. of, of stalagmite and stalactite. Stalactites, yes, it's very funny. Flapjills yeah, just... is just funny on the merit of like, it's just like I haven't thought about it, but like meath is like something like I would have never thought about. Like, I guess think... like fl flap jills or like flap janes might have like popped into my head like once, maybe. I the guess future. I was thinking Jack and Jill. Yeah, um, but oh god, something about meath is like <laughs> is so is so perfect. I like. Really I funny. Can't, I can't describe. Yeah, this fucking it. quicksand or whatever kind of sucks actually. Close it sand. does. It sucks you down. Um, quicksand. sand but pushes you up quick. Because I'm trying to get up in. into that small little ceiling hole is the thing. But it's really mm -hmm. not easy to do because of the quicksand. When I'm trying to get to a small ceiling hole. Like, I can do it, it just 
takes a little there bit. You go. There you go. I love how you just boop right through. Okay, well, uh... Wall jump time. Your uh, comment uh, made me, like, like, the, like the way you guys said that before I saw it makes me realize that yes I am a second behind you guys when it froze mm. for like a second well I saw just the Into the future well no I just saw a long wall going upward with nothing in between so I just there thought, we go oh, fixed well. it I just thought well wall gump wall gump but no you well, guys actually guy. were like a second ahead of me definitely oh what's he doing okay so this guy oh. this guy it is imperative that you do not kill him He's like digging. Yeah, he's a dig, oh. dig, dig. Which he's just minding his own business. Minding his own dickness. But if you <laughs> kill him, uh, you have to leave the room and like start One. over in here. Is again. he gonna hit like big choppies? Yo, oh, big chops. Oh, this Thanks, is man. really cool. Because Samus can herself go. can't destroy these little things, but this guy just digs right through them. Thank Thanks, you, friend. Random. Thanks, random dig guy. Appreciate it, homie. Yeah. Thanks, dig. Thanks, dig him. Dig him. I yeah. like it. Dig, dig. Dig, Doug. What if Dig, dig, dig Doug dig, is just short dig, for... Dig, dig, dig. Trio, trio, trio. What if, what if Dig, Doug is just short for Digging Dugger? <laughs> digging Dugger? Oh, you just got Doug. Oh. Funny if it did. Dig, Dag. All right, you don't live your usefulness. He just digs for fun. Oh, kill... Kind of toxic. Imagine being Evan, fucking dictator moment where he's like, "Damn, you've outlived your use unless dies, kills you." <laughs> Way to go, Lennon. Oh. oh look, an underwater chozo. How do you get down here? Ooh, the spring Thanks ball. Thanks for the, on the big. Go, now we can go jump while in morph ball mode. Instead of having to use bombs. Bombs? You want it? No. What if more shoes in the next Zelda game? That'd be crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he still has like his chocolate bar mustache. Bar mustache. I think that'd be fucking amazing. Breath of the Wild too. Breath of the Wild in one of the two, shops, it has more shoe. In, in, in one of the in one of the shops, it's got to be him. Give me, but the shop can only have like like six things because Morshu shop doesn't have a lot. 